Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on chat GPT projects. In this particular project, we'll try to build a Twitter bot that replies every time someone tags me using a chat GPT. So you might have seen a lot of times that you tagged someone or uh, you asked uh, a particular company for help and an automated reply came that uh, we are you know, going through your issues and very soon someone will reply you back. So like that, we want to create some something very similar to that bot. So for that, you need to have access of chat GPT because we will be using the chat GPT to create this entire system. So we will not be writing code by ourselves. Then we need an IDE. So if anything will work. We will use Notepad or Notepad++. And then you need Twitter developer access. So I have nothing. So I will ask chat GPT the steps to have Twitter developer access. So let's jump back to chat GPT. And uh, I ping this. Let's see what it replies. So they have identified a few steps. The very first step is that we have to create a Twitter developer account that we already knew. Certainly, we need some access from Twitter. And then they are using Python to access that Twitter API and authenticate that API. And then it reads every time someone like tweets with our uh, username, it will reply, you know, a fixed text to that tweet. And uh, also it runs a scheduled job. It means every 30 minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes, it keeps checking. It is not like you are going to mention me and immediately some, someone will reply. No, it's like every 30 minutes we check if any new mentions have come and accordingly the text of the reply text is sent back. So help me regarding step one. Certainly there are a lot of steps, so we'll create a document for you and uh, the access of that particular document will be mentioned in the description itself. Okay, so, okay, so we have followed the steps and I have to switch off the recording for a few moment just so that I can enter my required passwords and all. So I am saving these API key and API secret this this file and once I'm done with that I guess we can proceed to step two help me regarding step two so what exactly we did is like we click on the create button and then we reach to this particular sections where uh, I can just click on this regenerate button to generate again anytime so I have created access tokens api keys for myself okay so now the second step is like we have to create something in python so i am going to open the command prompt and keep following whatever it is asking me so i need to install twp And once it is installed, then I have to install this Python Twitter. So it is installed now. And 
and once both of these libraries are installed then we can i guess create our own file so So I'm asking it to give me the full code of Python altogether so that it will generate all code altogether and then I will just copy and paste it somewhere. Okay, so this is also installed. Like writing a lot of code for me. I've copied the code. So I'll just paste it in this notepad file itself. And consumer key is something there. So what I will replace with this. And then consumer secret is there. I will replace this with this. Fine. So now I can save this entire file somewhere. So let me save it somewhere. The extension is bot.py and saved. Open up command from here and write Python bot.py okay somehow i need to have consumer key consumer secret access token and access token secret and i have taken i don't know what that we regenerate so it is api key and api secret so i will just copy this Keys and access token. So let me open one more file so that I can copy all things all together. I will call it API key. secret what else we have we have bearer token right so here okay. then access token secret so we have access token like this Fine, so we have generated a lot of keys now. Let's see what happens now. So if I just check the file, so we have something called access token, access token secret. So this is the one, right? And the secret key is here. It means nothing special you're doing just copying and pasting things and if I go back consumer key and consumer secret so if I check the files here I believe API key is the consumer key this is the consumer secret The names are a bit different over Twitter and over the commands given here. 
So we'll try to rerun the same thing to see what, okay, we have authentication, correct. Now some issues are there. Okay, so we got this error. So just ask chat GPT. We'll just copy one of the code the entire thing like this okay so what we'll do we'll try to proper tweet by mentioning myself so i have created the account using this particular uh, personal account and now I'll be using this company account let's ping what is up we'll see if we can generate something yeah if you see what is up was there and something has happened so if i just refresh i don't know if it was able to reply right now thanks for mentioning so yeah it is done so we have created a bot successfully which replies automatically from the python code every time someone pings you so what you need to do next is like you have the piece of code use this particular code and deploy it somewhere and while deploying run a scheduler that runs after every five minutes 30 minutes based upon your requirement if you see a large number of people tweeting you every moment certainly you need to rerun every minute but somehow you know entire day only one or two people are pinging you it is better to run once a day twice a day or thrice a day that's it so yeah thanks a lot we'll meet in another video and discuss something new with chat gpt thank you